Yo, what's going on, guys? Gonna be playing some Nasus in the jungle with the strongest build at the moment. We're gonna be rushing down Essence Reaver. What makes this item so spectacular is you still get the Spell Blade passive, which makes your Qs absolutely pop at a cheap 2,900 gold price. It's a lot cheaper than going for Divine Sunder or Spear of Shojin Rush. It's 400 gold cheaper than Divine. It's a pretty big deal. On top of that, it gives you 15 more AD. You get the crit as well, so it's a lot more damage. Although you don't get the HP and the tankiness that Divine gives, whenever you're ganking, people are trying to get away from you anyways. And your W removes most champions' main source of damage, which is autos with its 75% attack speed slow. We're going to be starting with Q, starting with Leash on bot side with Fleet, Triumph, Tenacity, Coup de Gras, Free Boots, Cosmic, Attack Speed, AD, and Armor. You can go for Resolve Tree Secondary. That's certainly viable. All I would say is that uh, the Inspiration Tree... Let's you get your items faster because free boots essentially free boots sets you up to have a really 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 good mid game looks like Kane's starting on my raptors that's pretty annoying I'm actually gonna path over there and I should be able to solo him in theory okay so it looks like he went rap straight into mid gank he gets himself killed very nice from the LeBlanc all right, so we'll go ahead and get our E then. It's very normal for Kane to show up on your Raptors. It's very annoying, but at the same time, it's not as good as it used to be because you take enemy jungle camps 20% slower than your own. So if he did do my full three side top side, it wouldn't be good for him. I could solo him on my red buff with Wither. It would be close, but I think I could do it. Auto attack will pull it out a bit into a q doing about 116 to large monsters large monsters have armor magic resist the small ones don't nasa jungle gets more stacks than nasus top or mid since every large monster gives plus 12 you can far outpace that than the plus 12 from uh large minions of course without fleet you'll definitely be a lot less healthy fleet is the only keystone that interacts with monsters the speed up is very very nice and the healing is very nice as well we'll go ahead and clear back down towards boss side normally i like to go two points in q on a full clear since he took a camp we won't be able to get level four so we need our wither in this case your q gets on a very short cooldown per level you put into it auto attack q it's another plus 12 right there last hit that guy that's a plus three we're going bot lane here in a moment. So we did about, if I can't clear with a leash, around 335, 340. It's not too bad considering we're having to walk all over the place because of the cane. Yeah, more like a 340 for sure here. Like I said, our clear wasn't uh, the most optimal setup there. We have Scuttle Crab we can go for here in a moment. I should have Oracles at this point. We stacked up to try to fight off an Annie Invade. Annie Invades level 1 are extremely common since she gets to start with Stun from Fountain. Let it burn down a bit. That's a plus 12. Got another point in our Q. Probably put our W on the Kaisa here. Trying to walk her down. Auto attack, Q reset. Ooh, didn't get the plus 12. She probably didn't have flash. It's either that or she was holding it because she thought she was going to die regardless. I'd put on my potion, walk her down with wither. E, auto attack, Q. I'm going to walk out, tank this last shot. Easy peasy. Nasus has high base HP. Plus with the fleet speed up when we went up to hit her with an auto, the healing and speed up helps us with our spacing a bit. She needed to leave, lose all those minions and XP for sure. I need to back off at this point. I'll leave my ward right around there and look for a reset. Really good start for us. You only usually get a kill on Asus in your first clear, I'd say 30% of the time-ish in my experience. So we're going to go Essence Reaver Rush because once again, it's 400 gold cheaper than Divine. You still get the Spellblade passive, plus it gives you more damage it's cheaper with more damage 15 more ad plus the crit feels super good the mana on it honestly isn't that useful you're really just doing it for the spell blade chunk off of using an ability auto attack such as your q or using an ability then auto attacking it's pretty much always going to be your q though since it applies on hit effects 
After the Essence Reaver, we have lots of options. Radiant Virtue is usually your best because you're going to start team fighting a little bit at that point. Radiant Virtue makes you tanky, gives you some decent ability haste. Having Sheen, the Spellblade passive on a Sheen item, makes last hitting on a Q so much cleaner. Also speeds up your clear. I'll be playing heavy for bot side. It really is bot lane meta, unfortunately. I'll leave that control word there. Kane keeps taking my raptors. I think he's just putting himself behind to do it because he's having to path outside of his own jungle pathing and he's taking them 20% slower than he could take his own. So, yeah, I don't know. Perhaps be more effective if I was a champion who liked raptors such as fiddlesticks. A fiddlesticks would be upset about losing raptors for sure. I'll auto him down. My Q's not going to come up in time. It's going to try to reset on me. Auto attack Q. These guys are full HP bot side. Can't really do anything there. Kane has serrated plus blue jungle item. Auto attack in the Q. Very nice. He's going to be going around his bot side, hovering. Hopefully he doesn't come over here. Just making sure he doesn't try to cheese me. I think I could solo him with a Sheen against his Serrated. Rather not find out, though. Yeah, he's hovering bot right now. I'm almost level 6. To where it doesn't really make sense for me to fight right now. I'm not on a power spike. There's no reason to force a coin flip. I feel like we're already in the driver's seat. No need to get out of the vehicle and fight some homeless people. Stay in the car. If I was six, I would fight that. But without level six, I'm going to get CC'd down and focused real quick by the three of them. Because I'm pretty squishy right now. I'm going top side here. Shen needs to leave. He knows he needs to. He's about to die. He's going to be mad when he dies here. I mean, dude, come on. I want my red buff. But he actually didn't die. Well played to him. Suppose I really was missing a big chunk of HP as well. LeBlanc's playing pretty well into the Akali matchup. I can solo I rally 100%. Shen can not army, apparently. He already used that. She doesn't have boots. I don't have boots. I'm going to go for this. We'll get the Wither and the REQ. Try to R before you Q, that way you're putting it on the shorter cooldown. There we go, that's a plus 12. I'm going to help myself to these minions. Oh, he probably wants to freeze. I'm going to try to pull these back so it freezes a little bit better. Because if we leave all those melee, all those ranged minions in the front, they'll die super fast. But we pulled them back a little bit. Swave in theory should push to my Shen now. You could tell he wanted to freeze, so I'll pull back just from his body language. It was very clear. Keep going for that Essence Reaver. Got a big old chunk of it. We can head down for Dragon. So yeah, it's pushing into Shen. That's really, really good. Shen likes to play usually towards turret. Farm it up. Make it to mid late game. Use ours to impact the game. Kane cheeses Dragon. That's fine. You're typically going to miss out on the first Dragon. Especially if you don't have your R plus Sheen. Nasus takes time to truly scale. Auto attack in the Q resets. Doing about 442 with Sheen proc against the large monsters. You need to try to keep track. So if that's 436, if I don't have E armor shred on. If you don't keep track, you'll miss your Q last hits and they'll, they'll burn to death before your Q's back up. And then you won't be stacking very well. Come on, baby. There it is. 439. Right, 182 extra stacks. About 10 minutes deep into the game. And we'll get up to 200 here at the 10 minute mark. Shen gets the kill. Looks like I really is going to die after that. Oh, wow. She actually didn't die. She got executed. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Might be able to find a little invade here. I still have my warding totem, which feels like a mistake. Nasus has great base movement speed at 350. It's one of the highest base movement speeds in the game. Nasus with free boots gets around as fast as most champions with tier twos. I'm 
Look at those crits. I should have time to get this. Auto into Q. Should I fight Kane like this? Is he going to go bot side? I don't know. I, I think he must have went into his bot side jungle. That must be up right now. He did take Dragon, which would have slowed down his clear for sure. He didn't. He would have been over here by now if he left base after he died and came for his blue buff. Auto attack into the Q. Very nice. Lots of plus 12s. I guess I'll stay for Gromp. He'll be somewhere around here. I think he just saw me. I need to leave. I don't know where Irelli is, the thing. We don't know where Irelli is at. We're going to end up in a really weird fight. We're scaling up. We don't have to force anything too crazy. I would love to steal that cannon, but I'm not going to. I'm going to refrain. Call heads over bot side. Kane goes mid to cover it. Auto into Q. Go and smite this down. I want it. Plus 12. Yeah, one more of these. Plus 3. Whoa, Kane's all ending my mid laner. Didn't realize that. Shen used his R bot side and saved them. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna R ghost for this. Down he goes. Also smited him. We were moving really fast. We had the approach velocity speed up from the wither and our smite slow. Plus we were fast off a ghost. He wasn't going to get away there. Auto attack Q reset. Getting this plate plus first turret gold. Very nice. Auto attack Q reset. I could go take his Gromp for sure. Should be able to outrun in Irelia. Might come top side. I don't know. It's possible. We can take it quick, even if we do take it 20% slower. Pull it out a bit. I don't want to die for per se. I'm sitting on full essence reaver. It's a good time to back. Mm, this is a weird fight. That was a good taunt. Pulled her away from turret. W to E. I'm moving slow. I'm going to whip her with Q immediately. She probably gets away out of that. She was healing like crazy off of our minions. That was a very strange situation. Not a big fan of how that played out. I would like to reset here and get my Essence Reaver. It's going to speed up my clear substantially. Their team's very physical damage heavy. Kaisa, Hyrelia, and Kane. This is looking like a plated type of game. Second item will be Radiant Virtue. We are the front line for our team. We need to be absolutely girthy. Raid boss Nasus mode. Activating slowly but surely. Still don't have oracles. That's my mistake. Okay, no full item. I could crush him in a fight. Looks like he's going for blue cane. Dark Harvest. Kane's going to be garbage versus me. Red cane's more annoying to deal with because his knockup. Displacements are tough for champions like Nasus who want to constantly be autoing and queuing in fights. Lucan, on the other hand, shouldn't be much of an issue unless he's turbo fed, which he shouldn't be. He's doing about 660 without a crit. Nearly 900 with a crit. Plus 12, plus 12. You might eat down. I want to bait out the Annie stun. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Got the wither onto her. Kane dies because LeBlanc's fed. All right, that should be free drag. I like it. Hey, friend. Kali jumps back out to her smoke screen. Go ahead and smite that. I don't want to risk trying to last hit it with my Q and missing it. Plus 12 off the Annie. That works. These guys are panicking super hard. Seems like they don't know what to do. And they quit. 15 minute mark surrender. Seriously. All right. We'll do part two of Essence Reaver Nasus in the bunghole. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two. This time we have a very challenging matchup, and that is Master Yi. Our W does not affect him if he is on his R in any way, shape, or form. Master Yi R makes him immune to movement speed slows and attack speed slows. So it should be an interesting game. I think their comps 
definitely a little bit stronger with that being said if someone on our team gets fed whether it's me vein or mundo we should be just fine because me me and mundo will take a while to kill for mr tinkles one of the most annoying things is going to be the Amumu R and Shen R. Shen R is going to make killing E a bit problematic, and Amumu R is going to freeze us up a bit. We'll see what Twitch builds. It might still be best for us to go plated over Merc Dreads because we already have some tenacity in our runes. Once again, with the free boots and approach velocity, free boots, it's a free 300 gold, plus they're better than normal boots indefinitely. So it's a great option. Plus with approach velocity, you get to them faster after you wither, slow them, or your teammate CCs them. Go ahead with the Q star. I'm thinking going blue straight into red. Sometimes Master E will do a three or four camp clear into invade against things like NASA's jungle, and we want to avoid that. So we'll play it really safe and go buff buff. That way we don't have to deal with it. Uh, we definitely would struggle to kill a Master E. Auto attack into Q. That is a plus 12 right there. We'll go ahead and pick up our E, of course, since your W does not affect monster camps. Zoe and Ari, I'm not familiar with that matchup. I'd assume that Zoe has the general edge there. I don't think Zoe really loses his lane phase against any champion. Zoe's issue is she falls off so gush darn hard. Oh, the perks of this is we're playing around our buffs, which is the easiest camp for you to get invaded and killed on. And we still have our ward here that we laid from early on around the 55 second mark to where you can do this safely, have confidence. Even if you did red buff and our red buff, which is very abnormal, we could back off, reset it, whatever we need to do. Auto attack into Q reset. Very nice. And now we can continue our full clear. Super simple. Having fleet allows us to have mixed up routes, time inefficient routes, and still clear healthy it's not a huge deal auto attack into q reset that's a plus three i'm gonna kite this out a little bit because i need time to get my q up auto attack into q reset that's plus 12 now what we're gonna do just in case mastery still invaded us because he didn't know what we were doing we're gonna take this plant get ourselves some distance and avoid some dangerous areas i'm gonna go ahead and get another point in my q because i don't feel like ganking right now might as well go double points in Q for the shorter cooldown. Drop the E into Q. That's plus 12. We can full clear into a bot gank. Really solid, safe route. It's just not as fast as a linear full clear since you're having to walk over some dead space. Our Q should be up for this camp right here into Q, that is another plus 12. It's plus three. By the time we get here, our Q is pretty much up. We're going bot lane soon. So th this seems to cost you about 15 to 20 seconds of clear speed. I think it's worth it though. If you are nervous about getting invaded by a Warwick, Lee Sin, Master Yi, a Graves, something that has a high probability of trying to kill you solo. Still getting all of your camps and doing it safely, I think is worth it. I'm going to go ahead and ghost for this. I'll put the Wither on Amumu. He's going to have a harder time escaping. Auto attack in the Q reset. Thresh definitely threw out his hook too soon. With our Wither, he could have simply walked up and flayed. The hook's much easier to dodge with a flash, of course. That's all right. The wither is so strong that we're still able to run him down, get the kill, and Vayne gets to hold on to her flash. Mundo died, unfortunately. Master Yi dives are incredibly scary. Let's see if I can run this chick down. Drop my E on that. I want to get gold from it. I'm going to pull this wave real quick so I, it didn't get a full crash. Ari technically has it in a freeze now. She'll grab a big chunk of XP and whatnot. Couldn't kill Zoe. She's moving just as fast as I am. Plus three. I'll be smiting this here in a moment. It's annoying. I'll attack in the curious set. That's another plus three. I'll smite that down. I have to leave though because Amumu is on his way. The Amumu's looking for a roam here. You just pop the plant. On our first back, we want to get our Sheen. And go straight into Essence Reaver. Pick up a Longsword Control Word. 
I don't like buying control words too much, but with how the enemies are playing, doing turret dives early on and whatnot, I feel like it could be useful. Vayne is the cornerstone of our team. Her condemn backwards on Yi. Her true damage on the Mumu Shen. Only thing that, yeah, it really is the Vayne. She's going to be absolutely instrumental if she's playing properly. Twitch took Ghost and Flash. That's going to be frustrating to deal with. I'll attack into Cuke. He's doing nearly 320 with uh, Sheen proc. Plus 3. We're at 117 already. Six minutes in. We may lose a, the first Dragon or two. It is what it is. Nasus' is pre-6 isn't good enough to justify really trying to fight people on Dragon if they're forcing it super hard with a strong early game. Mastery's bot side. We could invade his top side over it. The thing is, my bot side's up, and we clear our own jungle 20% faster than we can clear his, so I don't think it's really worth it to invade his jungle right now. In the current league meta, Twitch is taking turret shots, and those are some big turret shots because they buff turret. Should be right there. Ari needs to get there ASAP. Oh, am I missing something? Did he actually get away there? Maybe his, maybe he used his Q to escape. I don't know. That, that was a very uh, peculiar situation. Not quite sure what happened. He must have had his Q reset and he looped back around. Making sure none of this is warded. Since he was likely in the area, just in case. I don't want him to steal it or something stupid. I'll attack Q reset. Oh, Ari's giving up a lot of minions, man. That is rough. Yeah, Master E dives are disgusting. That champion's been overbuffed. You can choose which side of you he comes out of from his Q. That's too good of a change they made about a year ago. Another plus 12. He's always backing off. The zone, she's going bot side, so hopefully my bot lane doesn't die here. I ping danger, basically. My teammates go balls deep for an all-in fight. Not sure how that works. Hopefully it turns out well for them. So they do get dragon. Zoe was hovering. That's what I figured was happening. Oh my god. Thresh just Zanya is there for no reason. You didn't get level 6 off of it, at least. That was, that was unfortunate though. The Thresh panicked there really hard with the uh, Zhonyas. Gonna hit him with the Wither. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm gonna R just in case. I do not want to risk dying to something stupid like that. Got the plus 12, got the wave crashed. All right, cool. Not bad. That was a very strange fight. Very strange indeed. We can back, pick up Caulfield, and can also get Cloak of Agility. It's decent. I would like to stay because we can almost get Essence Reaver. We just, we can't is the thing. Pick up another control work because next back we're going to get Essence Reaver regardless. So much, so much of this game really is hinging on the vein though. Makes me a bit nervous. Mumu gets in on her. She grabs the Lantern. She has tier 2 boots versus Twitch's tier 1s. You go in top side, tier 1 boots. I wish Mundo didn't turn. That's a plus 12. Got him. That's good. 1 for 1 is actually really, really good in this case. Especially if I'm the one getting the, uh, the kill. So that's a plus 12 for me. Go ahead and let this raw. I have so many camps up right now. I don't want to sit here and last hit every small monster with a Q. It's kind of pointless. Might actually be able to kill Shen because I have red buff. Qs are doing a lot of damage right now. Twitch roaming mid. It's really gross. Twitch in solo Q. I need Shen to go up a little bit farther because if I, whichever way I try to chase from here is going to be inefficient. So he has tier twos. I don't even have boots here, unfortunately. 
I had to lay that ward to get my boots. For those of you who don't understand why I would ward that. That's hilarious. I'm trying to heal up a bit. If I can get my health back. So yeah, my free boots couldn't come in because my items were completely full. So I laid my control word. Jen's going to break it. So whatever. Yeah, I shouldn't have bought that control word. I didn't realize I was stuffing myself there. That's unfortunate. Auto into Q. He's pretty strong, but Nasus on his R for now is a little bit better. Granted, he wasn't on his R. Shen blew his there too. That was a very good interaction for our team. Get the fleet speed up. Get to our next camp faster by turning there to hit. Pretty cool. Auto attack and a Q reset. 681 on an armorless opponent. Very cool. Nearly 600 against this. And I have its armor slightly reduced with E, that is. He's bot side. I have more CS than him. That's cool. I found that other item rushes on Nasus are certainly viable. However, if you don't go for a Sheen item rush, you'll feel very... Uh, not bursty. You lack a lot of burst when you go for like a Black Cleaver rush or a Dust Blade rush. Because ultimately you're missing that Spell Blade umph on your Q. That's plus three. Ari needs to push. See how much of this I can get. Might even be able to kill him on his red buff if Shen R is on cooldown. Yeah, R is thrashing Mr. Yi here. Well played to the R. R is really hard for Yi to deal with because she has so many dashes. It's hard for Yi to stay on top of her. And if he's not getting down autos, he's not getting value. That's annoying. Of course, Twitch is here. Very frustrating. Oh well. We get Dragon for free off of Yi's greed for those mid lane minions. If Even if R didn't kill him, I had the bush block to wreck him. We get the Q last hit. That's plus 12. A little bit risky. <laughs> I'll take it though. Looking for another plus 12. We have two smite charges, so we'll use one. Take this a bit quicker. Auto into Q. There we go. Even if we use one more auto than we really need, that's fine. I'd rather do that than risk missing it. Is this warded? Hey, Amumu. Oh, this is bad. Run, Vayne, run! She gets the lantern. We're chilling. That, that's a really good interaction. We are able to disengage. Thresh seems like a good counter to Shen. Because when Shen R pops, most of the time you want to back off. And Thresh allows for that if he's positioned correctly. That was awesome. Very awesome. Last thing you want to do is fight 4v5. And plus they have a big Shen shield and Shen teleporting in off that. Auto into Q. Waiting for my vein. I'm not going to rush out 1v2 there. Twitch has a Bork, so he certainly can uh, hold his own against me. Gotta take this. These guys have just so many freaking wards. It's annoying. There they are. I discovered their schemes. All right, it's time for me to back. I have Essence Reaver. It sucks to back with R and Ghost. I'd like to use that. Thinking about going mid, but I don't know if Zoe's about to be there. It'd be weird to go there if she's literally about to be there. Uh, I guess I will go for Merc Treads for more tenacity, and then I'll push into Radiant here. We kind of need Radiant. So Zoe did go top. Hindsight 2020, us going mid there would have been great. Lots of stacks, take the turret. We didn't know for sure if she was roaming top or if she had just based though, so 
it was not an easy call to make. They have Harold. I can hold this. Hold the line. Wither. RQ. That's plus 12. Plus 12. Hit me. Do it. So she actually did. I think that's plus 12 as well. I'm on ghost extensions. If she didn't have flash, she probably dies there. Mundo Cleaver lands. I run her down with approach velocity. That was enormous. This eats greeting out super hard for kills. Auto in the queue, about 857. Is always dead here. 100%. Mundo lands his thing. It's wither into E. Smite. Auto Q. Mundo flashes for That's good because Zoe used her flash anyways. I'm happy with that. I gotta go farm it back up. We need Drag Soul. Drag Soul win con. We win the game for free with Wind Drag. We all pop R's. He won't be able to keep up with any of us even if he's on his R. Wind Drag Soul is literally the best one in the game. It's 15% constant movement speed in or out of combat plus 50% movement speed for like 6 seconds after you use your R. It's nutty as heck. They would have been better off with a Lulu support because they already had frontline with Shen. I think the Lulu support would have been ideal for the Twitch and the Master Yi to play off of. Q is only on 2.5 second cooldown, so that means if we're on an R, it's only on a 1.25 second cooldown. We get to farm it up. Plus 3 is all around. Plus 12. Falling gets cut out a little bit. Zoe is not bot side. I'm gonna push mid though. Try to make sure she's not getting off of Rome somewhere. Since my Ari left. Auto into Q. Ooh, wow, she can one tap that wave. My goodness. I can almost get Radiant Virtue. If I can get Radiant Virtue for this next fight, it'll make the world a difference healing my teammates up. About 1100, my goodness. I can't afford it. I kind of want to reset. I guess I'll stay. That sucks. I really wanted to get Radiant Virtue. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I couldn't block it. I needed to hit her with the Q though. They're losing this dragon really, really fast. Got it. Down goes Master Yi. That's actually a really good fight since we get dragon. Yi died really fast. They have no one to kill Mundo now. So we can't shred him. Super solid fight. If I had Radiant Virtue there, I don't think I'd die at all. I'll take that fight though. Got Radiant now from here. Super optional. You can flex into Gargoyle if you need more frontline tankiness. You can go into Spear if you're really fed and want more ability haste. I think my team's already high enough damage that we don't even need Spear this game. We don't want Frozen Heart because we can't slow Mastery Attack Speed anyways when he's on his R. So it's looking like a Gargoyle. It really is. Or a black cleaver. I think you could justify gargoyle or black cleaver here. Gargoyle is about the same price as a cleaver. The shield, armor, magic resist will be very useful in conjunction with the health and healing from radiant. I'd rather not give her blue buff. I need the plus 12s. I'm already at 552 stacks. 1,000 off a of crit. Didn't even have the Sheen proc there. Because it's a 1.5 second cooldown. Holy moly. Yep. She gets a free Everfrost. Are you kidding me? Smiter, R, Ghost. Oh, 
Oh, she jumped outside of the Shen circle with her R, so she dies. She actually killed herself there. I'm on ghost extensions. Yeah, later. I'm on fleet speed up. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, I didn't realize Twitch was there too. I thought I could outplay them. They actually had Twitch there as well. Was not expecting that. Twitch did a thousand damage to me. They're all going to die for this though. Twitch burned, I think, Ghost and R. Ye are on cooldown, right? My teammates win this for sure. She gets the true damage in. Twitch is doing some serious deeps. This Ari's Qs are really clean. She's getting nice and close to land. And Vayne wasn't in that fight. No wonder. Ari with the quad will take it. Yeah, we need Gargoyle. 100%. Nice. Vayne can't end here. She's missing too much health. Amumu could have Ignite up and solo her for sure. Flash R, Q. Auto Ignite, Q. That was an interesting fight. Able to kill Zoe 1v2 even though she had Shen R. I should have kept running. If I didn't turn to hit anything, because I think I turned for a minion, I would have probably lived. Wasn't even thinking about Twitch showing up there. It's my bad. Because I had already, I got a kill in Shen R. If I had just stayed alive, it would have been an amazing interaction there. Kind of wanted that red buff. She could probably do more with it than I can, though. We're at 633 stacks. I mean, I'm not going to let you guys. I mean, what is going on here? We're just chasing them around. I'm trying to find a target to go for. It. Give me that plus 12. Wait, Vayne died there? In what universe? I have no clue how that happened. Someone must have flashed for the Vayne. She's really strong. They can't kill her that easily. All R for this. These guys are going to lose inhib. I'm going to die though. Oh, there, I got Shen R. I got Shen R, a turret, and inhib. And I might get this turret. Let's go! I'll take credit. I'll take full credit for that. We get turret, inhib, another turret, and dragon. I'll take full credit for all of it. <laughs> That's nasty. Our Q was on a 1.1 second cooldown. We get auto Q, auto Q, auto Q, rip through everything. They lost so much out of that. And with every dragon we get, it makes mastery take that much longer before he can get in and start autoing it lets more of his r burn off before he can get in combat and if his r goes on full cooldown it ends he doesn't get resets from getting kills and assists and he's useless master you without his r is a d tier champion master you on his r it's another story that's probably a game twitch dies I don't think they have a way to really get through our front line now. He's their range shred. Zoe gets hooked. Ari misses both skill shots off the hook. Amumu finds a nice little R, but Mastery gets condemned into the wall. He's able to finish off Vayne. Oh, it's not good. Mastery's going to run away. That's a plus 12, Mastery. Don't run from me, boy. I want that plus 12. <laughs> he did no damage. He really didn't do much there. Let's see what Shannon Twitch can do here. I didn't quite make it to a thousand stacks. I made it close enough though. I'm very pleased with myself. Thresh, you're ruining my last hits, my friend. I need to go for this turret instead, huh?
Why is he farming the cannons while I'm hitting the thing? What in the world? I'm the one who needs the cannons. They lose triple inhib. We take camps. We can wait for Dragon Salt or for Baron. Either or. They're going to be pinned in base perpetually. Vayne's going to want this red buff. I don't really need it because I already have a red buff. I also have, Oh, I guess my red buff stole it there. Well, unlucky. Yeah, my wither's already good enough slow for me to get to people. Vayne doesn't have a built-in and like slow to catch up to them. 700 Q farm. You're dead. <laughs> We're equal items. Look. One, two items. We're one, two items. We're both two full items right now. And he gets butchered 1v1. And I can't even slow his attack speed or movement speed one on one. I kind of hurt. Good thing I have insane healing. Yeah, he healed all that back, Zoe. Who's gonna stop me? Who will stand against me now? That is GG's. Well prayed. Nasus man, Essence into Radiant is disgusting. It feels so freaking strong. You can solo Master Yi who has as many items as you. Let's look at damage dealt damage taking a room. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we certainly didn't have anything special. We're pretty much tied with everybody else. Feels bad. For damage taken, on the other hand, took the most in the game. And keep in mind, we only had one real HP item. Grant, granted, it was Radiant Virtue, and Radiant Virtue is kind of cracked. For self-mitigated, we also self-mitigated the most in the game. More than Shen. Very shocking. And for runes, ultra high value. All in all, I love this Nasus build. It's the only one I'm playing at the moment. It definitely feels better than Divine Sunder, since you can get Essence Reaver. Like... 400 gold before it and it does more damage and it has crit so higher ad you have the crit and the spell blade on this does more damage than divine does so really is just the better item rush if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time